Yes, man. Y'all know who it is. Who else? Who else would it be? It's your boy E, one half of the Earning ISO show. Yeah, you know I mean your favorite half, but don't let nobody know. Listen, hopefully you still enjoying your spring break. Hopefully you have you being safe, cautious. Yeah, you know I mean carefree, enjoying the time that you out here with the family, the friends, the kids, whatever it is. I don't even know how the weather is during the spring break because this is pre-recorded. If it's nice outside, I hopefully y'all join y'all outside sound. If it's raining, break them board games out. Continue to do what it do. Listen, like I said, this is the Earning ISO Spring Break Marathon. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. We're gonna hit y'all with an episode every day of this week until the spring break is completed. You know what I'm saying? And today is no different. Like I told y'all before, these uh solo episodes I do, it's not gonna be long. You know, this is just going to be me, you know, just trying to generate topics, talking points so that we can continue the conversation within the comments or, you know, a lot of y'all been sending text messages through the text number. Yeah, I mean that. And, uh, you know, for the voicemail, number, first and foremost, let me tell you all like this. Like I told you before, the voicemail number is for voicemails only. A lot of y'all been calling, not leaving the voicemail hanging up. If you expect me and ISO to pick the phone up and talk to y'all, that's not what we did it for. It's for you to leave a voicemail. If you want your voicemail played in an episode, we could do that. But listen, we're not the ones for the long, you know what I mean, talk, talked out, you know I mean, situations right now. I am looking at, you know what I mean, putting putting together a Discord so that we can conversate with y'all. And I mean, ISO jump in the Discord every now and then. He can conversate with y'all back and forth. But uh, as far as like, you know, y'all calling the voicemail number, that's why I said it's a voicemail number. It's not a number that you call expecting us to pick up. I got a, we got a ton of phone calls that were just calls. And then by the time I got to the voicemail, y'all hung up. I don't know if y'all was expecting to talk to us or what, but that's not what it is for. Text messages and voicemails only. That's what it is for. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, man, to continue on this uh, spring break marathon, uh, these solo episodes that you see with me will be the episodes that I dedicate to the things that I feel like I have expertise in, you know, being a father being a husband, you know what I mean? Being in a long-term relationship, you know, like, you know, things of the, of that sort. And today will be no different. Today will be, I guess I'm going to consider this one being the perils of fatherhood. If I was ISO, you know what I mean? King king of the titles. This would be called to be or not to be. You know what I mean? Because, you know, ISO is the king of the titles. If y'all see a catchy title out there, thrown out there, it was ISO's idea the whole way through. I just... Whatever I'm talking about, that's what I'm putting on there. I ain't, I ain't one for the catch of titles. But if I had to do that, it would be to be or not to be. Um, in this episode, you know I mean, that I, yeah, you know I mean, like I said, this will be perils of fatherhood. Call this one part one. Uh, when I became a young father, you know, what I mean, the decision that I, the decisions that hit me once I became a father was what kind of father would I be? Would I be the father that? It's always available to his kids that makes every, you know, dance recital, basketball game, uh, graduation, birthday party. Would I be that father? Or would I be the father that's dedicating my time at a nine to five job? Because I want to make sure that, that my child has all of the resources and is never at a point where they don't have the things that they want or need. You know what I'm saying? So these were the choices that I was met with as a young father. The choice that I made was the nine to five route. Uh, I made the nine to five route choice because born and raised in Philadelphia, as y'all know, I was born and raised in North Philadelphia. It was probably one of the hardest, poorest, you know what I mean, parts of the community in Philadelphia. Uh, but by no means am I going to sit here and act like my childhood was filled with turmoil and pain. Listen, my childhood was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? If I had to talk about North Philly at the time that I was raised there, you couldn't tell me that I was poor or I was not well off. We all was in the same community. We all dealt with everything the same way. You know what I mean? If it was my aunt or my mom telling me to knock on the next door neighbor to get some eggs so that she they could make us breakfast or the next door neighbor knock on the door asking me if my mom and them had some cigarettes or something, we all went through everything together. So it wasn't no time during my, 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 my childhood that I could ever say that, yo, we broke. No, everybody in the community dealt with everything together and we dealt with it as a community as a whole, you know. So my times growing up in North Philadelphia was beautiful. I enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even though, you know, even though, you know, what I mean, I'm going to say like this as a child, I was very aware of the things that I didn't have. And because of that, I wanted to make sure that my children would never have to go to a point of 
not having anything that they wanted or hearts desire or anything that they needed. So, you know, I dedicated my time to just being the guy that worked the nine to five and did a double overtime, whatever I had to do. Yeah. You know I mean, for my kids, uh, either or whatever, whatever father that you decide to be, there's no right or wrong answer. I think the only thing that I did wrong with their minds was I kind of made the decision of doing that without letting my partner know. You know what I'm saying? Without at the time my wife, you know what I'm saying? My 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 uh my ex-wife. I didn't take the time to express to her that this was what I was gonna do. I just made the decision. This is what I'm gonna do because I don't want them to experience certain things that I experienced. You know what I'm saying? So making that decision, hopefully your village or your tribe or your family circle, they understand that what you're doing and you you making the best decision for them. At times, I believe that, you know what I'm saying. The people that I was doing for didn't understand or didn't know why I was doing it because I understand now being a, a grown man in my early 40s that everybody don't experience life the same way growing up. You know what I mean? Just because I experienced life my way and I tried to protect my kids not to go through that, they mom didn't. They mom, you know what I'm saying? She, you know, she, she, she came from a life where struggle wasn't, you know what I mean, a part of her everyday life, you know? So... She didn't see the need in what working doubles or overtime or working on holidays and certain things like that. So we got to the point where there were arguments of me choosing to work all the time and then me being accused of putting my job before my family, which, you know, what I mean, was far from the point. You know, I, I think for the men that work and is a T.D. A Jake's quote where he said that, you know, what I mean, as a father, you are pressed with the dilemma of not being here because I have to work because I want to provide you with something or always being around and not being able to get you everything that you desire. You know what I mean? So those were the dilemmas. And hopefully, you know what I mean? Me now knowing, you know what I'm saying? I'm very communicative now. So knowing now that maybe I should have communicated those points to the person I was with so we could have got an understanding. And I didn't go through those things because if you kind of do things on your own willy nilly on your own, yeah, you know I mean, just what you want to do, you you left to leave your partner in limbo, and they trying to figure out why do you do certain things. You know, you kind of keep your partner in limbo, and they trying to figure out why do you do certain things, and because of that, that those feelings can be expressed onto your children. I mean, there were times. I mean, not even not too long ago, my oldest daughter is is twenty two right now. Not too long ago, my daughter expressed to me in a text message, yeah, you know I'm saying about. Uh, I was never around and then I never did this. And the weird thing about that, I'm like, yo, you cussing me out on the very phone that I pay the bill on. The very phone you cussing me out on is the phone that I bought for you and I pay the bill on. So the hardships that I went through was trying to get my family to understand that it wasn't me choosing my job over you. It was me actually, you know what I mean? Trying to protect y'all from certain things that I went through. You know what I mean? We don't want, I don't want... You don't want to keep continue the process of everybody. We got to reset. There's there, every time you have a child, the starting point gets reset, and you got to go back, and the starting points get reset. In my head, I wanted to have y'all start at a plateau that was ahead of mine's, and then, but yeah, I mean, so forth and so on. You know what I'm saying? So that was the difficulty that I dealt with, even to this day. Yeah, you know I mean, I deal with those those hardships and those things because I still am the same way that I am. You know what I mean? Even with me and ISO doing this journey, I mean, we almost three years in and in three years, I haven't taken a vacation I've, every day. You know what I'm saying I'm trying to figure out something to push this podcast forward. And if it's not this podcast, another podcast, if it's not ISO versus the world, you know what I mean? Trying to figure out how we can just create another podcast. You know what I mean? Trying to do this content thing. I mean, even now, look, you know what you know, I mean? Every day, every day, a, a episode. So, you know, I know it's a ton of fathers out here that deal with this dilemma, man. You know what I'm saying? Not just of going through the arguments with the person that you with, but also missing events, hoping that your child understand that, you know what I'm saying? You missing this event for the, the benefit of them, not being able to go to the birthday parties, not being able to go to the recitals, not being able to go to the basketball games, not being able to, you know what I'm saying? You know, you missing cheerleading events and everything like that. And you just praying and you hoping like, I hope that you understand what I'm doing it for, you know? I'm doing it for the benefit of you. So I'm I'm pretty sure there's a gang of fathers out there that's going through this right here. Like I said, there's no right or no wrong rhyme or reason for either one. You know what I mean? For the father that is uh wanted to choose to stay with his kids and be always be available. I'm pretty sure that 
the hardships that you went through was I'm always here, but you know what I mean? I'm going to be at every football game, but you might not have the best cleats. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be at every recital, but you might not have the best, you know what I'm saying, outfit, but I'll be here. So, you know what I'm saying? The hardships that you go through is the choices that you have to make. And, uh, and the crazy thing about it is that, ew, I'm going to say for me, once I started this journey, there was no going back. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's the same thing for the fathers that, that choose to be in their children's life all the time. If you was that father and then you decide that I'm not, I don't have the thing, I'm not giving my children the tools, you know what I'm saying, that they need because I'm always around. And let me, let, then let me put this time in at the job. You don't even know what you pulling yourself away from that child for a certain amount of time could do to that child. So it's like, once you're in it, you got to be in it. Me right now, you know what I'm saying? Once I made the decision of I have to dedicate myself to this, there was no me pulling myself out of this and now, all right, I'm going to be available to y'all. Because then you're going to start to question why you can't do certain things. Why can't I go over here if I've always been doing that? Why can't I get this if I've always been getting that? You know, so I say for the fathers that's been doing it, because right now my goal is that I don't want this to be for naught. You know what I mean? So when I go as hard as I do for this podcast or as hard as I do for something, it's because I want the end game to be a reward for my children. I don't I don't want me to get to the end and then they'd be like, here, I left y'all with bills. You know what I mean? You want to leave your children with something that it changes their kids' starting point. You know what I'm saying? And Or the kids after that and the kids after that. You know what I mean? You, you leave something for the generation that won't even know who you are. Yeah, you know I mean, my kids, kids, kids that don't even know who I am. I left something for them so that they don't have to start back at, you know what I mean, we back at ground zero and we got to build it back up. And then we get back at ground zero. So, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, man, for whatever father you are, whatever things you do, there is no right or wrong, no right or wrong answer. Just do the best that you could do. And don't let nobody challenge that. Don't nobody, don't let nobody question that, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, these ain't going to be long. We ain't going to be long winded in this. We ain't going to be, I mean, long in that. Meet me in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Hit me over there. You know I mean, we have, we'll continue this conversation. If your father going through this and you just want to talk, bust it up, man. Listen, the voicemail number at the bottom in the description, the comments is open, whatever it is, man. You know what I'm saying? But without further ado, man, this is the Earn and ISO show. If you don't know now, you know, we out of here. Peace. Live, love, life. And I love y'all, yo. Home all the time and he's the breadwinner, that's a bad sign. And the problem with being a father is you can never get it 100. If I give you time, we don't have money. If I get the money, you don't have me. I can't be there and earn a living at the same time. I'm limited and I have an obligation to make sure your life is better than mine. All the things that you call normal were our miracles. Your normal is your daddy's miracle. But the reason you don't see it is because it's normal.